watch freaks and welcome to my channel the Uhrenbox, which means the watch box in German. My name is Karga and today I want to show you the San Martin 62 Mars Hommage in version 3. So the latest one and this is my first review in English. So if I misspell a word, take that in mind please. I also reviewed the Steel Dive 62 Mars Hommage, which you can watch over here. It's in German, but just to compare the look if you like. So what we get in the box, uh, the box is the usual one as San Martin use or the Steel Dive use. They are very safe, but nothing special about them. But what I like in this package is you get a warranty card and that's not usual for a Chinese company. They stamp and sign them. That's really awesome. I like that fact. You get a little manual here, nothing important. A uh, hand tag, which is with the new logo and with the AliExpress address. You also get a little tool to change the strap if you like. And also this tool is signed with the name. I really like it. I don't need it, but yeah, not bad to have one if you don't have anything at home. I took three links out for my 19 centimeter wrist. And that's all about the box. I know you are here for the watch itself. I don't think you guys need another one who's explaining all the story behind the 62 Mars. In one line, it is the first professional diving watch from Psycho. Let's move on to the specifications. We have a 40 mil case diameter. We have 14.5 millimeter in the height and a luck to luck distance from 50 millimeters. I really like these dimensions. We have 20 mil lugs and they are drilled, which makes it so much easier to change the straps if you like, because the strap you get with this watch is really, really great. Right now the watch is available with the Vettel band or with this wonderful, really great stainless steel bracelet. The build and use quality of this bracelet is the best I ever had on a Chinese watch. It was one of the most important reasons why I sold my Steel Dive 62 Mars Hommage, because there is no stainless steel bracelet with solid end links. I tried to plug this bracelet on the Steel Dive one and the lugs fit really perfect. Also the end link, they fit really perfect in the case, but, but you don't have a hold on the case because the case diameter of the Steel Dive is 42 millimeters. And if you plug in this bracelet on the Steel Dive, they just slip out and they don't really hold there. I think two millimeters makes really a big difference here. If you want to know how it looks, please watch the Steel Dive review. It's in the end of the video. I show there how it doesn't work, yeah? <laughs> um, the clasp is even better than my Psycho SPB 051J1. And I want to show you that. Here is it. It's also a 62 Mars homage from Psycho itself. It's a 42.6 millimeters. A really great watch. I like it a lot. But I have a new lovely watch and it's the San Martin. The glass, like I said, it's even better. And we are talking here from a watch. It's actually around 850 euros. I think it's like $1,000, I guess. But look here. And see yourself, San Martin used more material. The glass is so much thicker as you can see. You see the difference? It's really a great glass here. We also have six micro adjustments. Psycho has just four micro adjustments. And I like this brushed and not polished one. It looks so much better and yeah, it's a copy of the Psycho bracelet itself. The only thing the San Martin misses 
is a diver's extension, but yeah, I don't really need one. And uh, honestly, I think around 10% of us really goes diving and needs that function. The other ones just wearing a diver because they like the look. The bracelet has nothing I can complain about. It's, yeah, it's really great. Yeah, You don't have anything which you will miss or which looks bad. It's just awesome. As you hear, I love this bracelet. The case is wonderfully brushed on the top and the sides are polished. I couldn't say it often, the build quality is really great. We have a screw down crown with the shark logo. Really great, it looks fantastic, I think. And it's also polished like the sides, it's, it fits perfectly there. On the back we have also a, a screw down case back which also provides the shark logo and all the other informations like the water resistance of 200 meters and stainless steel. Inside is ticking the workhorse NH35A. I like this movement, it's so reliable and if it stops working in 10 years, you can just change it for around 30 euros, so it doesn't hurt. On the front we have a ceramic bezel with 120 clicks. They are really good, they clicking very smooth and we have no backplay. I mean really nothing, yeah, that's awesome for a price point around. 200 euros you can't get anything better you can get the watch with a completely loomed bezel or with just loomed pip like mine they use c3 swiss super luminova also here it is more like the first 62 mass homage with which also had a circle instead of a triangle like the steel dive version we also see the lovely domed sapphire crystal which sits perfectly and guys, the beauty of this dial is awesome. It has a grey sunburst effect on it, as you can see. But I also placed some micro shots in the intro. It looks gorgeous. The dial is just perfect and I can't get enough watch time on this watch. <laughs> All the indexes are applied and executed very nicely also that you can see on the micro shots or here the watch is just awesome look at the hands please they are executed so very well they look just great it's not like the version 1 or version 2 this one is really really great it's just perfect my new lovely watch. I can't take it anymore off of my wrist. The indexes and also the hands are full of C3 Super Luminova like the pip on top. And yeah, if you wake up in the morning, you can read the time without a problem because they have enough energy through the night. On the 12th you can see the new 3D logo of St. Martin which is applied and not printed. It looks fantastic. I really really like this new logo. It's decent and doesn't show off too much but it's there and it looks fantastic. Fantastic. I really like it. I don't like the old versions with the printed name. It looked, yeah, too much on the dial, you know. I really like it if it's more or less on the dial as too much. On the 6, you can see the water resistance of 200 meters and 24 juice, which speaks for the psycho movement. At the 3, you can see the date window, which is perfectly executed and has a stainless steel date frame around it. It looks fantastic. Yeah, the workmanship is so much better for as steel dive or other Chinese watches I had to this time. Really clean work from San Martin. I really, really love the quality on this watch. 
should I buy this watch? <laughs> yeah, this watch is every cent worth. I really, really love it and I can't move it from my wrist. Like I said, it is just perfect. And if you are looking for a 62 Mars homage, this is the watch you should buy. Some people complaining about the price between Steel Dive and San Martin. I looked for this bracelet, guys, and find the same at Strapcord. The bracelet alone costs you 90 euros. If you calculate it this way, then the San Martin is around 30 to 40 euro cheaper as the Steel Dive and has so much better build quality. The only thing I will change would be using BGV9 instead of C3. So everything would look more white, but in the other hand, it would lose its vintage character to it and yeah, we want to have a 62 Mars homage, which looks like the original one. So like I said, for me, the watch is perfect as it is. And I want to show you something else. The watch is not only built very well and so much better as Steel Dive. They're also using very quality stuff in their watches. That's really great. And as you can see, they are using 2.5 millimeters fat bars and they are just perfect. You don't need to change it. And everyone who changed the bracelet on a steel dive knows they are using really, really cheap spring bars. And I heard from some people where the watch fell off because the spring bar broke. That's really bad and I'm really thankful to San Martin that they are using in every aspect the best stuff they can have. That's it friends. If you liked the video then please let a comment, subscribe and like on this video and tell me if you like to see more reviews in English. I know my English is not perfect but yeah, let me know if I should make another video in English. Thank you. And now have fun with my strap show to this watch and we see each other on the next review. Stay safe, your car guy.